Hello, in this video I'm going to talk to you about using a question bank uh, to correct quizzes uh, using the form maker add-on. So I'm starting with a blank sheet, as you can see here there's nothing in it. Um, and the reason I want to do that is to show you that when you open the fo uh, form maker add-on, uh, you've got a number of, <laughs> sorry, um, number of option uh, menu options. The main one's the form menu, but uh, today I want to talk about the question bank menu. So when I click on this, if the sheets don't already exist, it creates these two sheets that it's going to create down here. So the question bank and a forms log, which just keeps a log of the forms you create with this. Um, so this is the question bank. Um, so this is the menu. Uh, I'll Here's one I prepared earlier. So um, this is a question bank of questions about uh, computer science. Uh, the way this works, the questions are start here uh, with the type of question. So that's the drop down list of the types you can use within with Formaker to uh, populate Google Forms. To the left of them here, I've got a select column. So if I put a, an X or anything, actually, for that column, it will select that question. Uh, and these two columns I just use as, um, to, as indicators to, to say what that question is about. So I've got a main topic and a subtopic. Um, so with the question bank menu, which I haven't got open on here, I can select by topic which I'll show you in a different video. Um, but then the, for the rest of it, there's a, a link there to the um, to a help screen about this menu. Um, here, if I've, I've only selected four questions, which it tells me there also, uh, but if I'd selected 50 or 100 uh, to choose from and then said, all right, I only want 20, 10 of those, if I put 10 in there, it would select 10 from within that selection of however 100 I think I said then I've got to tell it where to paste the questions to so I'm going to paste them into sheet 4 um, and then I tell it to paste the questions uh, I've already done that so um, it takes a second or two to, to paste them in and I've actually created this form as, as well so um, it pastes the question any help text, the choices, the correct option, and then the feedback over here. And if I go look at the form, this was the first question. So it's it's identified the correct answer. It's um, awarded a point or assigned a point to it. Um, and it's pasted in the um, feedback for correct answers and for incorrect answers. And this is the link that they go to if they get the answer incorrect. So um, Formica doesn't do this bit because Google hasn't given us the access. Um, but, so you have to set the parameters for the, the quiz options. So I've set this to go uh, be released immediately after submission and I'm going to tick these boxes so that the user can see the points value, the correct answer, and the missed question. So if I save that, let's go and do the quiz. So I'm going to choose some answers and submit. And then I'm going to view my score. So I've got that one wrong, so it's given me the feedback for the wrong answer and a link to the BBC Bite Size site about that, um, about that topic. So I've got them all wrong, didn't do very well. Um, so that's the question bank. Um, if you've got any questions, you can contact me or po uh, uh, post a question in the comments below. If you think there's anything else it needs to do, likewise, post post a comment. Okay, thank you for watching.